Welcome back to the Sunday Business Page. You know how computers have revolutionized the way we do business. And the next step of that, the type of software being used by businesses, well, it frankly can set them apart from the competition. CGI is a company whose 12,000 professionals in some 80 cities and 34 states work with clients to transform the digital presence on the web. Recently, CGI merged with Suma, a Pittsburgh-based partner that has a very high-end information technology consulting firm. Suma specializes in the development of software that can distinguish its clients from the rest of the pack. CGI and Suma, proud to participate in KDK's STEM Week, and we are pleased to welcome Audrey Dunnan, the Senior Vice President of the U.S. Great Lakes Business Unit for CGI. Welcome to the Sunday Business Page. Thank you, Rick. Pleased to be here. We hear so much about what's happening at Carnegie Mellon, what's happening at Pitt, what's happening in these ivory towers around mm -hmm. Pittsburgh with the Eds and the Meds and the tech here in town. Tell us a little bit about what your company does because it seems everybody's got a niche that they're trying to fill. Tell us what yours does. Right. Well, certainly digital transformation is a very hot topic for companies in many different industries, whether um, a bank, a retailer, or a manufacturing firm. So keeping on the cutting edge and leveraging digital technology to transform how companies engage with their customers, partners, employees is really a, a hot topic for organizations. So CGI, and formerly SUMA, has really been in the business of helping organizations to make that transformation. So then where do you start? When somebody comes to you and says, hey, we need some help here. I mean, obviously, a, a presence on the web, whether it's you know, just on a web page or whether it's with social media, is critical to a business being able to succeed. Where do you begin? Well, it's, it's often a journey, so you know, depending on where an organization is on their transformation journey, we're able to help them at many different touch points. So often that starts with the very front end of strategy and using design thinking to help an organization uncover what are their business goals and technology goals and advising them on uh, what is the right transformation, the right technologies to employ. And then building those systems, deploying those systems and providing services and support after the fact. Um, so one of the things we've been most excited about with respect to uh, SUMA's integration with CGI is our ability to really provide that end-to-end -end capability to work with a company along the, along the path of their journey. So then what has SUMA brought to the table that CGI didn't have before? What does it add to the mix? What's a, another piece of the puzzle for them? Um, so multiple things. Um, certainly uh, a presence here in the Pittsburgh region is a, is a very important one. So we have um, roughly 200 professionals that are joining the CGI family here in the region, um, a, a breadth of, of clients uh, here in, in the region, and uh, you know, very like-minded quality and, and culture, um, focus on uh, success, customer success, uh, community involvement, so something that was very important uh, to SUMA and is also very important to CGI. Um, as evidence of this participation in uh, STEM Week. Right, so Audrey Dunning joining us right now as we talk about some of the things happening with STEM Week and happening with Girls Rock Science. Uh, why the importance, why do we continue to hear STEM, 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 whether it's in preschools, in kindergartens, high schools, Schools. colleges, why do we continue to hear that being pushed? Right, well, it really is tied to the point I made earlier with respect to how digital is transforming our organizations and technology is a key important component. So every, so every company needs to be a software company at, at some point to compete in this new digital age. And having the requisite skills to be able to complete that transformation is a key issue. Um, there are some statistics that say there are close to a $2 million shortage of jobs here in the U.S. over the next four years in STEM careers. So it really is a, an issue of just pipeline, um, having enough people, enough um, students at a young age that are interested in STEM careers and pursuing a career in technology to be able to fill that pipeline for organizations that are going to be in need of those skills to remain competitive. So what kind of skills are they? What sorts of skills do young ladies need to have to say, you know what, this is something that I can do? Right. So it starts with, I think, an interest in science, technology, engineering, math. So um, the, the programs that are being discussed this week. Um, CGI sponsors a, a program in, in cities across the U.S. that is a, a boot camp that helps to educate students about um, you know, what does it mean to pursue careers in the STEM field. Um, certainly um, software design and, and programming. At what age, um, what, what age is that targeting? Is that going to be as young as elementary school? As young as elementary school through middle school through high school. So um, I think starting there's a lot of uh, good statistics that starting at an early age and sort of convincing 
um, students at a, a young age that um, it's not necessarily just about the programming aspects, if they might not be interested in that aspect of technology, but all of the soft skills that go around making a technology implementation successful are equally important. So pr project management and um, business analysis and, and so on are all really important skills that are um, critical to driving those transformation forward in organizations. This obviously is a message that has been talked about now for the better part of a decade. Are you seeing a change in the workplace in terms of young ladies who have come up through this and said, hey, it's okay for me to do this job, to want to have that particular career? Have you seen it? Um, I think so. Certainly in, in our company, we've been more successful at, at recruiting women into the organization, into technical fields, but I think it really is still a, an important and a critical issue, and not just for young girls, but I think just students in general, um, to you know, really see um, the opportunities that are ahead of, of pursuing uh, technology as a career profession. Interesting. And you think that that need is obviously still going to be there, even though it is something that is being pushed, we still have a shortage, do we not? Absolutely. And uh, what sorts of things happen next? I mean, because the push can go on and go on, but how do we get enough people? With the people retiring, with the people who are on the way out, that's going to be a, a huge void that has to be filled, does it not? Right, yes, it's a great point. I know the Allegheny Conference published its workforce study last year that talked about just the shortage of uh, jobs in general, um, people to fill the jobs as a result of baby boomers retiring here in the region. Um, so it, I think it starts at a young age, and, and that's important. Um, and just continuing to, you know, foster um, the the opportunities that exist in, in technology. Um, it's a very stable career path, um, and um, while globalization and offshore and onshore are component, important components of a technology strategy for a large global organization, um, certainly that doesn't limit uh, the career opportunities for people living and working here in the U.S. Good stuff. Audrey, thank you very much for being here. Great, thank you. Great to you. have your perspective on what's going on with CGI and SUMA. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We will wrap things up on the Sunday Business Page. Just a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. The Sunday Business Page will be back in just a moment.